Hey everyone, David Nielsen with Platinum Idaho Real Estate here. I am out in front of our office, just change of scenery. So um, wanted to share with you a little bit of a market update. You've got the numbers you can find on our site or the Boise Regional Realtors, and I'm not gonna dive into how everything's going up, but bottom line is prices, inventory, well, inventory is very low, prices are going up, units sold are starting to creep up, and total sales volume is going up. But what I wanna talk to you about today are two numbers that you may wanna consider um, in answer to your question or the question that everybody has is when is this all going to end because it's crazy everybody's like it's such a crazy market out there and I couldn't agree more it's it's actually quite frustrating even as an agent especially when you're working with buyers it's such a challenge so two numbers I want to share with you the first one is interest rates so at the beginning of the year interest rates were about four percent for a 30-year fixed um, now they're about four and three quarters percent so we're a little over four months into the year and they've already gone up three quarters of a percent so it's not that a drastic it's not that a gradual increase in interest rates is gonna you know cause house housing prices to plummet but um, over time that will affect the rapid increase in appreciation that we've been seeing and I think that as early as this year we might see a decline in appreciation. So I'm not talking about a decline in housing values, I'm just talking about a decline in that rapid appreciation. So interest rates is one thing to pay attention to. And the second thing is the affordability index. And you're probably like, what in the heck is the affordability index? Um, well, what the affordability index is, is it's how much, uh, it's the median, how much of your median household income in Ada County, how much of your median household income does it take to purchase a median priced home in Ada County. And right now that number is sitting at about 23%. So for the average, the median person or the average person, I'll say, it takes about 23% of their income to buy an average or a median home in Ada County. That's quite a bit, that's quite a chunk of change. For perspective, in the end of 2011, beginning of 2012, that number was 13%. It only took 13% of one's income to buy a home in Ada County and now it's at 23%. So I guess the question is like, what's gonna happen if prices keep going up and rates are, and, and income doesn't continue to rise? Because nationally, nationally rates are, housing prices are in outpacing the increase in wages by about two to one. Wages are not keeping up with the increase in housing prices. So what's gonna happen when we get to 28 to 38 to 28 to 30 percent of median income to buy a median home and rates continue to increase so i don't have a crystal ball um i wish that i did it'd probably make a lot more money i don't have a crystal ball i don't know when it's all going to happen but markets are cyclical and real estate markets are cyclical so um you know the advice that i have is like if you're a buyer right now I'd strongly consider trying to get into something now before rates continue to go up. I think the only direction they have are upwards. So prices are high, there's no doubt about that. And inventory is low and competition is tough. But I'd consider trying to get in the market now while rates are low because that increases your buying power. What if you're a seller? Well, I have no idea how long this crazy selling market's gonna last, but I can tell you it isn't going to last forever and it's been going on for I mean, a good two or three years at least, depending on how you look at it. And I don't think it's gonna go on forever. So if you're a seller, I'd consider, you know, if you're trying to tap out on some of that equity or relocate or downsize or whatever, now's a fantastic time to sell. We're having tremendous success with our sellers getting as much as we can out of their homes. Anyway, enough said, it's a long video. Thanks for watching. That's it in a nutshell. You can see the rest of the numbers on our website. And as always, if you have further questions about the market, or your current home's value, um, just let us know. We're here to help.